who, who sent the emails, uh, Haruna? Now, President OSP... Mahama, the o government official one. Now, OSP says, notwithstanding the definitive pronouncement by the UK and US courts on the accepted culpability of Airbus, beyond reasonable doubt for bribery in relation to the sale of, uh, to Ghana of C-295 uh, aircraft, it was imperative that a criminal investigation be carried out by a relevant Ghanaian authority for several reasons. For, uh, first, the relevant investigative authorities in Ghana did not participate in the investigation. And it says also the UK and US judicial decisions only established criminal culpability in the context of the laws of the two jurisdictions. It does not automatically follow that the act accepted as proved beyond reasonable doubt in those jurisdictions amount to criminal offenses in the reckoning of the Ghanaian law. To rely solely on the UK and US decisions without more as proof of criminal culpability would be akin to seeking to enforce the criminal laws of the UK and US in Ghana, which is impermissible. And he has used the Ghanaian law, conducted these investigations, and realized that, well, President Mahama did in, nothing In wrong. using the law, there are always opinions in the use of the law. There could be a different special prosecutor who may rely on another provision of the law to prosecute his case. So we are not faulting him for his work, for his opinion, but we are saying he did a shoddy work. Mm. He, could have he could have proceeded to gather the evidence to go mm. ahead. But mm. what is most important is that we all know that government official one was mm. related to corruption issues, was convicted and was announced mm. in the UK, and mm. we have now confirmed and unmarked mm. that mm. the former president of the Republic of Ghana, John Dramani Mahama, was mm. the government official one, and his brother Samuel Mahama was the one that took the bribe, mm. the money that was paid. And it is confirmed that he was the one sending the emails directly as vice president and the government official one in Ghana to so, the Airbus company. So, so you don't you know, accept... They went to contracted a third party. The third party has no business even in the development or even shipment of aircraft. So, so you, you all don't, you don't questionable matters. Mm, you don't accept the findings of the OSP. What next will be... What, that, what action will, be on, will, will you take next? Well, the point is that the mm. OSP has strengthened the case of the MPP that John Mahama is government official one, which you agree with me. Because but he goes further to exonerate him. The, of the, the OSP too has said that uh, his brother is Samuel Mahama, who is mm. also identified in the criminal prosecution in the UK. Mm. The OSP has also said that he could have recused himself because of conflict of interest, which mm. he did not do, which is also an offense in Ghana. Remember, Remember, crime has no expiry date. You know that. In our law books, crime has no expiry date. And there's no definitive result to crime. And at any point in time, these confirmations can be dealt with. This judgment has come, or this particular investigation report has just come in in an early days yet. Our lawyers will also look at it. The MPP will state our position. But we are very happy that the government official one is clearly John Dramani Mahama, who is a corrupt individual in this country, who has been investigated before, who has been involved in the, in the hunger issues, which was investigated under his own boss. It has also been established that he has involved himself in sending emails to contract that he is not a contractor to that particular contract. And this mm. is very clear. He himself has okay. lived this particular country's boxer to his own brother, mm. Ibrahim Mahama. He has done so many things in this country that he himself doesn't know that a human being responds to corruption. When he was interviewed in BBC, he was asked, are you corrupt? He said, as a human being. Was he sitting there as anything else? He was a human being sitting there. So please, Ghana doesn't need such an individual to rule us. Ghana doesn't need such a person. Okay. That's why well, the MPP has elected Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, who well. is very decent, very respectful, very innovative, mm. very creative, and result-oriented. Mm. We need results. We don't need leaders. We, do, we need results. People who come and provide results, not people to come and leave and, and complete their term of office. That's what we are looking for. Well. So our, our guys in the end should stop the blatant. This is an indictment on their leader, and I think that they should have changed their flag better by now.